Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. I can't hear you, bruv. Are you serious? You can't hear me? What? Let's see. <laughs> this could be an opportunity, actually, for me just to mock Smarta Jenna. Because uh, I don't think I'd win if, if he can respond. No, so my thing is a... working, bro. It's working. <laughs> can you guys That's hear Smarta Jenna? Ah, it's me. So he can't hear me, yeah? One What's second. this Gora Pagoda <laughs> saying? I must speak What's this Gora Pagoda saying, eh? On, Get you, you had to colonize us, yeah? yeah? No, you had to colonize us, Jordan, yeah? No, he's mocking me. I can't hear him. Think you can bring me on, yeah? No. What are you saying? What are you saying about the camo hat, huh? Oh, you can't say anything, yeah? Is he being nice? <laughs> you know what I'm so, saying? Don't try, don't try come on my second, turf. Let me try and plug this little, speaker in. What is going on with this? Video, what is Jordan, going on? Yeah? Don't play no games, Ooh, yeah? What well, you been doing, yeah? Just because you caught me slacking um, for a little bit, you coming with these crusty videos, yeah? Is that what we're dealing with, yeah? Okay. Not even edited properly. You got a timer properly, mate. You tell yeah. a joke and it's still, camera's still Connect. running for three seconds, Dave. Zisha, and you keep everyone uh, entertained. I'm just going to give my technical uh, support call. Don't tell me what to do, boy. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, you smile. Yeah, you pretend you can't hear me. You now I'm saying? I'm taking over. Yeah? That's what, How about if the brown man takes over now? I'm here to give you freedom, Dave. That's right. <laughs> you got to apologize for Hindustan, huh? Ruling us for 180 years. Yeah, what are you saying, Dave? What are you saying about the East India coming out, Jordan? I love that. What are you saying about the Queen, Jordan? <laughs> uh, Jordan, 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 huh? I heard all that last bit, by the way. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's not really good. How's it going? Me liking the Queen. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties, but you know what I'm like. So how's it going? So I'm going to introduce you as my mentor at the moment. Um, I have been known to be called the White Smarter Janna now. So nice. You're gonna be blowing up soon, <laughs> mate. You're gonna be blowing up all over the place. We shouldn't say that as Muslims. We shouldn't say that. But yeah, I, I, I hear you. My words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mashallah. It's only a matter of time till we see the rise of Jordan. Jordan on the BBC <laughs> defending. They're gonna bring Jordan on for comedy, and they're gonna ask you to defend the hijab. <laughs> like, Jordan, so, what do you think about hijab? Have you? Have you uh, condemned ISIS yet? Is that, I'm just here to That's promote my new book. I'm here to promote my DVD. <laughs> it's been an interesting thing because for me, uh, as, as you know, I'm not very funny off camera and stuff. So it was an interesting um, thing getting into this Dave and Jeff stuff. What I really like is pulling out hypocrisies. You know, the, the, the far right is littered. Tommy Robinson is littered with, you know, oh, you can't, but they're doing it themselves. You know, it's barbaric, but we want to string up pedophiles. There's all this kind of hypocrisy within the whole thing and i just love pointing them out it, it takes a lot of bravery and, and that's that's one thing i didn't say to you but the last couple of times that we have met mashallah you're very comfortable with your identity you're very comfortable with with who you are and that that's it's rare and it's admirable as well i don't see you second guessing everything you're not like oh what if this what if that you're, you're comfortable you know what you're doing and you know why you're doing it and i think i think that's what mashallah will will make you more effective I don't have to do that convincing. And in terms of uh, comedy, there's one thing that I would say, bro. Comedy is subjective. It's subjective. Like you see all these people lolling in the comments. It's because they, they do find you funny. And remember I told you, if people ask me, like, who do I find, like, hilarious? It's Muhammad Hijab. Like, I find the guy, like, he's unintentionally hilarious. So I think that's the best type of comedy. Not when somebody's like, go on, Dave, tell us a joke. Uh, <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Nah, mate, it's rubbish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I never really saw the uh, power of comedy really before before this whole experience because I think you know some of the emails I've received and stuff like that. People respond to comedy, don't they? And and you, it's like you can learn something without even realizing. If you're entertained while watching something, even if it's a one minute clip, even if you're an Islamophobe, you might, for example, like Dave, and you might just learn what the word jihad means. You know. Uh, and a lot of these misconceptions were things that I had. Uh, and that's why, you know, so I, people laugh at Dave, but that was like me uh, five years ago. You know, I was like, Allah Akbar, that is, you know, God, God don't say that. That's a terrible word. And uh, all of these misconceptions were, 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 you know, feelings that I held. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, just that they say a smile is contagious. Yeah, that's why it's sunnah to smile. Because when you smile at somebody else, automatically the visceral reaction in response to that is a smile. And when you mm. smile... You immediately there's, there's some sort of chemical gets released. They might not be in great uh, amounts, but um, and then when you couple that with with laughter and joy, it's like an antidepressant. 
And especially yeah. if it's coupled with not transgressing uh, the, the laws of Allah by, by swearing and by using sexual innuendos, it requires talent, not ending each joke yeah. with an F word. Yeah, yeah. come on, imagine if we were, we're here, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was so crazy. He was so flipped um, or flip off, a mother flipper, flip, flip, flop, flop. And then, it, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. just cheapens. Definitely. And I think for me, the, the thing that I've been um, doing all kinds of videos now, and I, I don't know if it's lockdown craziness or I might show you one of the videos later that I made, trying to be funny uh, and trying to put things together. And yeah, I'm kind of experimenting at the moment. So I, I went down to the, the park today to see the ducks. And I started so doing video. I went down the pub today, ordered the pint of Guinness, yeah, and I remember I'm, one of those Mosley's. I was I'm, like, I'm, Dave. <laughs> I'm becoming Dave. But I, I, I started um, being enrolled with Dave and I filmed myself talking to ducks. Is that is that normal or is that... Um... Talking to ducks? Yeah. I love how you're asking me about talking to ducks with such a straight face. <laughs> and then you've got the nerve to tell me you're not funny. <laughs> like, so... How did you just flip this conversation from me asking for $2.7 trillion <laughs> for colonizing India to uh, uh, you talking uh, that's, to ducks? That's what we do. We deflect. We deflect. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, talking to ducks. What, what, what do you mean? You just go and you find peace with talking to ducks? No, I started doing a Dave sketch with the ducks. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, uh, the reason why I did it is I watched it back and I was concerned. I was thinking, what's actually happening to me? No, what you're doing is that's called situational comedy. Were, were you? Did you just happen to come across those ducks, or did you go oh, out of your way? I went for a walk because I thought, yeah, it wasn't planned. Uh, I went for a walk. Mm -hmm. and I thought, actually, no one's around, and the ducks actually look very peaceful. I'd like to be a duck. And then I did a video with a duck. It's good to know I'm not losing it then because I, I watched it back and I thought, what is it? What's happening to me? But yeah, I'm doing it. You have to experiment. At this stage, yeah. uh, Jordan, yeah, experiment. You'll get stuff wrong. You'll get stuff right. Yeah. It, that's, it's the name of the game with the perfect aim up against your brain. How did you get into it all then? What, what made you start um, getting into the comedy side of it? Is it something you've always been interested in? or uh, Is it because no. uh, I see it as a niche in Dawa and I see it as a niche... For me, my DAO has always been, and that's why I come online, really. As, as an Englishman, I, I maybe can be powerful to other English people to say, actually, Islam is what, isn't what you think it is. What was your sort of thoughts coming into this kind sure, of... It's, it's, it's that colonial mindset, isn't it? Remember, we were speaking like in everyone's cultures, whether it's the African culture or the Asian culture, the people with the whiter skin are, are more valued. So it's it's something that is deeply ingrained within our, within our society, and it will take time to kind of um, be taken out. So yeah, for them, uh, constantly being bombarded with a certain uh, aspect of a Muslim on, on social media and, and on BBC, it's refreshing for people to see somebody. Although one in four people are a Muslim and, uh, you know, Islam is growing amongst especially uh, British females, but we don't see that because yeah. obviously the people that are practicing, they're not going to start, you know, uh, parading themselves so yeah, it's unfortunate right. that many people or, or when people do come they have issues with family or they're working so alhamdulillah you had a, a good background and alhamdulillah i honestly believe it's uh, it's, it's from allah yeah that is maybe somebody's dua some mother's dua she asks look you know ya allah please help us and this is the way that allah accepts duas by giving people the tawfiq the ability um to to obviously traverse in his path so alhamdulillah it is honorable but you said how did i get into it jordan so uh, i guess i didn't see myself as funny as some of my friends and i went to them and i was like bro like you'd be so funny and we're in great we're in great need of this and you hear that typical answer inshallah brother inshallah Mwah. Mwah. brilliant idea magnifique yeah. i don't know why he suddenly turns italian but uh, it's just some people, isn't it? It's just yeah. on a flex. So, I mean, they, when they did that, bro, it, it was quite kind of frustrating. And I was like, you know what? I, I feel I have to do it. Yeah. I did have some comedy, not as much as some of my friends, but I was just sick and tired of just people. <sighs> I don't know, bro. We were just amongst our practicing circles and always talking about the non-practicing, but we weren't mingling with them. It was always, oh, we need to do more. And waiting for them to come to the masjid and have, uh, hosting events, but it doesn't work now. Everyone's on their phone, everyone's on their devices. All right, why don't we get on those devices? Yes, we get on those devices and we speak to them via those very devices that we're complaining about. So I, I, I found that concept liberating. 
rather than moaning that they're not coming to the masjid, we get on those devices that they're glued to and we slowly wean them off and we show them the J man. <laughs> it's it's a shame, bro. It's a shame. And to be honest, with, with our people, it, it, we have become very lazy. We don't have that whole Badr spirit. When there were only 313 Muslims, now, because we know we're 1.8 billion, we become lazy. Oh, somebody else will do it. It's called the bystander effect in psychology. When, when there's one person, you feel more of a responsibility to help that person. Yeah, oh my God, Dave's on the floor. What's going on, Dave? Let me help you, mate. However, when there's four or five people, no people are less likely to go forward because they're thinking, oh, somebody else is more qualified. Somebody else is more qualified. So it might even be that bystander effect. Oh, somebody else could do it. They're more funnier than me. Or they're this than me. Or they're that than me. But the thing is, Jordan's the one. Yeah? Z uh, Zishan is the one. Yeah? We may not be the funniest. We may not be the best editors. We're never going to be. Who, who can come forward and say, I am the most funniest guy? I am the, there'll always be someone funnier than you. But do you have the time? Do you have the patience to sit on a live with a brown guy seeing him waffle on when all you're thinking about <laughs> is ducks? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The one thing I wanted to chat about as well, actually, because I watched I watched your animation the other day. I thought it was really good. Do you want to, I don't know, give a brief discussion on that? Because um, what was what was your idea behind that? Is, it, is this the, is anime the next thing or? Well, it's not even anime, yeah. is it? Anime, anime, something different. No, no, it's actually it's actually animation. There's this, there's a there's a very um, famous channel, uh, education channel. It's mm -hmm. called Kurtz Kazag. Yeah. So, what he does is he just makes animation videos. And um, uh, am I am I glitching? Uh, a little bit, but it's all right. After, after my start. I can't any, I can't give you any grief. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Is it fine now? Yeah, no, I think you're right. We can hit the other voices absolutely fine. Oh, that sucks. All right. What? Uh, okay. Can you hear me? You know what? Yeah. Oh, there Let is, me put it on there, data. There is a lag. Oh, shame. Jordan doesn't know what anime is. Laugh out loud. Is that funny? Um... Great, I'm getting back now. I'm getting back now. So let's let's have a guess. Uh, with Zishan's facial expression there, what what's just happened in Zishan's life for this? Exp oh, it's gone. Oh. Hey, mate. <laughs> I do. Working now. Is it frozen again? Okay, now it looks like he's just had a really nice cup of tea, and he's really happy. It had you know when you make that tea perfect, and it's got exactly the right amount of milk in it. Oh. Hello, mate. Is it working now? Yeah. It's worked perfect. Perfect. I'm All right, great, great. I think it was my Wi-Fi. I, I, I think it just detected that I'm a Muslim and it was like flip one of these guys. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I just had to restart it. Uh, restart it. Yeah, so the animation thing, bro. I, I, I thought it was revolutionary in the sense that you take you take a concept, yeah, that maybe you you have to listen to a one hour lecture, you distill mm. it. And you mm. make it visually stimulating with colors because I've mm. seen it work with Kurtz Kazag and all of these. They get millions of views. So you take these complex Islamic things, you sim you simplify it, you make it visually stimulating for all ages, yeah. and then you put it out there. Um, for me, bro, whether it gets 10, 15, 20, inshallah, it will pop off. Like even if it doesn't work on mine, I'll give it to Merciful Servant or I'll give it to one of these other guys and they'll be able to do something. I know even that people are asking you about the youth group. Um, I think those brothers wanted to translate it into Urdu. Somebody else wanted to translate it into Bengali, and I think you want to translate it into English, isn't it? What you <laughs> translate your stuff into English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, like, and I'm like, oh, guys, so as it popping, yeah. he's saying, how, how do there, <laughs> how is everybody? <laughs> you know, it's funny because um, I get a lot of people on my channel that go. I, I really like the Dave sketches, but I ain't got a clue what he's saying. <laughs> Do you know? Because I'm trying to use the lingo in there, but yeah, it's not. Um, I think maybe I need some subtitles in there.